So I'm going to start this video with a uh, showing you a park domain page. There's a pretty good chance your PHP uh, LD directory uh, is linking to such a page if you've been running your directory for a long enough time. And what we've done is we've developed a tool that will help you to find such pages. Now I'm running that tool right now on my directory and you can see here on the right side the list of park sites and the corresponding URL so this application has found links to uh, the name drive park page, the GoDaddy park page, the DS Ultra, it works with CDU. it found it finds some other hosting uh, or I should say park domain providers as well so we've got a tool here that's gonna it'll connect to your database it'll go through all the URLs and it's gonna look for a signature and find if any of your URLs are pointing to park sites and it has some other features too. It will look and find if you are linking to malware or phishing sites that Google has identified. It will look for spam words. Uh, there's a list that we run against. This one's just still a little bit in beta because we found, for example, that maybe the word poker or gambling or casino or even some terms that would be considered profanity, when you actually go to the web page, you'll find that it's not so spammy. For example, I know Expedia um, has some stuff about gambling on their website, but you know, Expedia would be considered by many to be a good website. So this tool should help you to number one, identify some park pages, find any malware sites that you're linking to, and then you, you can use the spam words tool in addition to that to help you um, just do a visual check on some of the pages that might have some uh, peculiar information that maybe you don't want to be linking to. The main requirement here for this application is you do need to be able to connect remotely to your host. That's easily done through cPanel on, on a, a, majority, a huge majority of hosts, but if you don't know what that is, you might want to talk to your hosting provider and make sure that you can establish a um, a remote database connection and just just for your information um, here in cPanel if you if you go to cPanel there's a little place next to your database information called remote database and here what I did is I allowed all hosts I'm not gonna leave it like that it's not good to allow any uh, domain to connect or any IP address to connect to your uh, database at any time they still would need to get past your password but uh, still not a good idea, but what I'll do is after I finish running this tool, I'm going to remove this entry and then there would not be the allowance of a remote uh, connection. So, But it, it's easily done in cPanel. And so you can see I, f I found a couple of park domains. Actually, if I look at the tool here one more time, let's see how it's doing now. Um, I'm, I'm only maybe a fifth of, or sixth of the way through and I've already found quite a few uh, park domains that are going to need to go. And I'll go in there and remove them from my directory. So um, this tool actually will also work with other uh, directory scripts. Uh, we know you're probably not running them, haha, -ha, but if you are, you can still um, connect to the database. Then you have to kind of find their link table, find the link ID, the link field, the URL, and the uh, valid field, or the field that uh, sets the value that the link is, uh, is a, an accepted uh, value in your, in your um, database. So and then, so then you can run this tool uh, with other other uh, directory scripts as well. But uh, also, I was going to say that um, this tool actually connects to our server and it uses an API key. So you'll need to get an API key, which we distribute with the software. And we do reserve the right to limit API keys if they're using too many resources. I mean, most people are going to have a directory with uh, 10,000 links. I'm sure over the course of a month we could handle 100,000 links. But we just have to reserve the right in case we get a bunch of users trying to check a million links in two days. We want to make sure that the resource works for everyone. So we might tell you you're going to have to slow down a little bit. But we certainly haven't reached that point yet because it's a new application. Anyways, come on over to phplinkdirectory.com if you want to learn more. And thank you for watching the video.